Oh, Instagram dark mode. Instagram dark mode is here. So, as you guys are probably aware, I, iOS 13 allows you to have dark mode, which I've got on my phone enabled now at the moment. How am I going to show you dark mode now? So, that's dark mode I've got now on my phone enabled. Can you see that on the screen, right? That's dark mode there. It's enabled on my phone, so that's great. But now Instagram's got dark mode, so you don't need to have that stupid white fucking thing flashing in your eyes, which is nice. Um, and this is news that just got launched, I think, recently, past iOS 13, maybe. Um, I'll put it here on the screen now. Um, Instagram dark mode is here. It's from CNN Business. It says the following. Instagram is rolling out a dark mode option. The latest major app to look to latch onto the eye straining reducing battery saving chic looking trend that's sweeping the globe the photo sharing app new appearance is similar to its rivals it's embracing the darkness by flipping the default white backgrounds to black and gray instagram made the theme available to ios and android users in the update on monday so awesome to see to activate dark mode just go into your app blah, blah 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 so yeah pretty cool to see right that's that's a major major update but the biggest update on instagram that people are really really excited about and i'm excited about is the removal of the follow tab so happy about this check this out check 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 this out so as you're aware there was a, that was there was that annoying tab on, on instagram right the follow tab where you could see what your friends were clicking and liking and stuff and i guess for some people it was kind of entertaining because you can kind of stalk on your friends or you can find some stuff that they like that you might like as well you know, maybe a good discovery bit but honestly i don't think in the whole entire time that i've used instagram and i don't really use it that often anyway that i've ever clicked on it i don't necessarily want to not get to see anything and i guess that also was the reason why people started opening finster accounts right so finster accounts that were locked in our private that probably you know only your closest friends could use were mainly um set up so you could have an opportunity to kind of you know just do your thing in quiet in peace and quiet right and no one else noticing so i think the moment they were able to take away the follow tab might maybe then impede the fact that people might maybe slow down the amount of fences and accounts that get opened up and also the fact that they're going to get rid of likes eventually might get rid of the need to have Finster account because Finster accounts were kind of where you kind of threw up all your you know nondescript loosey-goosey kind of having fun um, images up so maybe with the with the introduction with the the removal of the follow tab the removal of the likes you might see people then posting more organic stuff on their main instagram profiles that might be where they're going towards it but it's honestly so great to see and i'm sure for the creeps around the world people that also <laughs> want to just creep on girls without their missus finding out they're probably going to be super happy that the follow tab is completely gone but yeah this is this is news um now i'm from engaging i'm reporting it says the following uh starting this week instagram will sun uh will sunset one of its more infamous le uh, though lesser known features moving forward the app is removing its following tab um reports buzzfeed news if you're unfamiliar with the feature it displays new likes and comments from people you follow it also shows you new accounts that they may have added to their feed it's accessible through the uh the heart tab which is the same part of instagram interface where you see likes and follows from your account for better or worse, a lot of people found it a bit too much about their friend's interest through their follow tab, of course. And on the other hand, you could see all the great dogos your friends follow. On the other hand, you could see all the Instagram models they like as well. It's a good, so it's not a good scene. Instagram's Vishal Shah told BuzzFeed News the company is removing the feature because it wasn't getting a lot of use, which I'm surprised about because I think there's a lot more people that creep um, on people's profiles than they would like to admit. I think it's something a lot of people do kind of in secret. Or you kind of open up a secret account to view somebody's thing. I, I don't know. I, I just get a feeling that it's a lot more prevalent. People try to make out. People didn't always know that the activity was surfacing. Shah told the website. So you have to. You have. So you have. So you have a case where it's not serving the case, the, the use case that you built it for. But it's also causing people to be surprised when activity is showing up. He went on to add simplicity was always a driving factor. Instagram first added the following thing back in 2011. However, it has a way of discovering new accounts and photos. The apps discover tab does much better job of surfacing. Of course, because this discover tab especially if you're liking a lot of stuff the algorithm will probably start noticing your trends and what you're liking and what you're clicking on and it'll start to recommend really interesting stuff and for the most part most people's discovery tab on instagram is a fair reflection of what their interests are it's not necessarily uh you know a like for like but it does give you a good idea of what you're generally liking and you know attacking on the gram and stuff but yeah i think it's a really good feature again i think overall going forward i wouldn't be surprised if this is a way for them to i think engagement wise and activity on instagram i think if i'm taking myself as an example i don't use instagram that often because i don't necessarily get any value from it um and i try to 
create and put content out as much as possible as opposed to browsing on it. But I think if they take away the option of people to see what you're browsing, so you feel less guilty about what people see, if they take away the option of people seeing how many posts your how many likes your post gets apart from you seeing yourself, it also takes the pressure away from you uploading random stuff and trying new things and getting a little bit of creative. Because I think maybe some of the content on Instagram gets a bit stagnant because people especially same with YouTube, right? You find out what works, you find content that works for you and you start kind of regurgitating it. That's why sometimes you find a scandal let's say a daniel cone has kind of got some new scandals happen with this little girl and you'll see all the major flipping commentary channels on youtube going for the same angle talking about the same sort of thing that they're talking about because they know it's easy views it's, the algorithm will notice it but you have to get into it you have to get on it really quickly the first couple of days and then you, you suddenly become the first hits by that time if you attack it later on it's too late so maybe the same thing happened with Instagram. People are blowing the same sort of content. It's getting a bit stale. So to mix it up again, they want to make sure people, t that, that anxiety of creating things and not getting likes you want is taken away. And also the anxiety of maybe following and liking stuff that you don't say to everyone, what well, don't want everyone to know about is taken away too by making sure they remove the following tab. So it's a very clever way to kind of get things, get people to get to, get people to use in the app as it, as intended again. I think it's a very clever way to get around it. Um, I know I'm going to be back on there again now. Um, there's no need for me to have my Finster account, all that malarkey. Oh, Finster, can I say that? What I say? <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to be probably doing that more often myself as well. But I can see it becoming a probably more of a way to kind of drive engagement as, a, as opposed to them just making sure they're uh, enabling creeps to kind of, you know, um, like random Instagram models for images again. I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Darkman, I'm a big fan of, and I'm also a big fan of the old um, removing the follow tab. So I uh, recommend you check it out. Re updates available now for new version of ios 13 and android but i'm sure most of you guys are familiar with that already